beautiful fish. Every week of every month of every year, that's what geofishing brings to you, and I appreciate you guys for watching. boots, slip resistant, and on top of that, they got the Neopean waders, the stuff that's waterproof for the waders. They have that on the inside. So we're going to put those on to stay extra warm and look extra cool today. They also have their own store, drycodeusa.com. Easy those were to slip by. Yes, sir. Let's go. What is up my fellow fishing friends, YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're here on a spot that I fished for more than 30 years. Um, there's not many guarantees in life, but one guarantee is when geo fishing is on the Chicago River, we're gonna catch some fish. So we're gonna start with crappie and panfish, and then we're gonna adapt accordingly, and then try to catch some largemouth bass. All on camera, I have about an hour and a half of fishing, so we're gonna go and accomplish that today. So today I'm also introducing you guys to a brand called Dry Code USA. They have a bunch of waterproof gear which will keep you dry in the winter, keep you dry in the summer, keep you just wind resistant, waterproof, more than just a product. We're talking about Dry Code USA guys. You got to check them out online. I have some kids waders, I have some boots. They're the real deal. Affordable quality. Check them out and be sure to order your awesome waterproof stuff today. Stay tuned because this is going to be a fun video. We're going to debut the Dry Code USA waterproof boots. We are going to catch some fish and we're going to have a good time in this 27 degree Chicago day. Stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. And guys, when you are out in the water, please be respectful and do not litter. You'd think it would be common sense, but common sense isn't so common anymore. Stay tuned for some awesome fishing adventures. There's one. There we go. There we are guys, nice little quick after work session. Caught this beautiful crappie out here. Staying warm and staying dry. 27 degrees out here. But you can see my feet are completely dry and I'm standing in the water with these dry code USA waterproof boots. Thank you, Dry Code. And thank you, Mr. Crappie, for this beautiful, beautiful experience. Going in for the release. There's another one. Awesome. Another crappie. There we go, guys. Another beautiful crappie here on the Chicago River North Shore Channel. Using a little tiny 
jig to mimic a minnow. These are predators and they eat any fish smaller than them. So that's all we're mimicking. In order to stay comfortable out here, stay dry. So all I have to do is think about what will I catch my fish on and not how do I stay warm is because solely because of these amazing dry code boots. I said it once and I'll say it again, guys. DryCodeUSA.com. Give it a look for yourself. Stay dry out there and stay warm. I fish in some extremely, extremely cold temperatures. There is not a low temperature that scares me away. It, in fact, actually motivates me to get out more. And with Dry Code USA, you can do the same. There's one, right in the tip of the lip it felt like. Oh yeah, there's another one guys. Yes sir. Don't even fill the elements out here while I'm crappie fishing with Dry Code USA's gear. You guys definitely gotta check it out. I'm not gonna say it again, maybe one more time. Nice crappie on that little swim jig, mimicking a minnow. Predator fish's number one food source. There's another one. Yes. That's right, guys. All day catching. That is right, guys. All day catching and all day comfortable. Oh man, I thought he was a big one because of how he wailed into it. That was a good bite. Nice fish. There's another one. Oh, this is a rock bass. Check that out. Nice little mixture here. Little Chicago River rock bass. Not a smallmouth bass. Get edumacated. This is indeed a rock bass. Beautiful fish. Going in for the release. Going in for the release. There it is. Oh, I almost pulled him out. Another crappie. We're in a small school of crappie, but it's really good to always see a variety of sizes. This way, you know your waterway is not stunted. A lot of times when a waterway gets stunted, it's not good for anything, especially the species that is stunted. Going in for the release. There we are. This, my friends, is a regular Chicago River bluegill. Light in color, the water is cold. All the bodies of water around us are actually frozen. We are in December 2022. But the Chicago River, as well as many other water treatment waterways, stay ice-free the entire year, no matter how frozen or how cold it gets. Another crappie, constantly digging, constantly digging. 
Nice fish. Back to back crappie. Going on for the release. Wow. Another crappie. This one, however, absolutely crushed it. It's come in handy. Get yourself a pair. There we are. Another healthy release. Another crappie. Good fish. Killing them today, guys. Killing them. We're about to switch to a weightless worm to see if we can get a bass before the day's over with. Their eyes are definitely looking around. They checking you out. It's awesome. <laughs> Going in for the release. Oh, this is a good fighter again. Check it out, guys. I got another rock bass on. That is awesome. Nice chunky rock bass. And there we go, guys. Nice rock bass here. Second one of the outing. Not sure if you can see my breath. It is 26 degrees, but I feel warm with my waterproof dry code USA waterproof boots. <laughs> Let's go. a better crappie. Nice. It's gotta be a rock bass or something. Oh, bluegill. Nice bluegill. Check that out. There we go. That's a really nice bluegill there. Chicago River. Look at that thing. What a beautiful fish. Now after we let this bluegill go, we're going to switch over and see if we can potentially catch a bass. I'm going to switch to a weightless worm, a little bit bigger presentation. I got one guys, I got one. Saw the twitch on the line and everything, I'm not sure if it's a bass or a crappie, but it should be a bass. Oh, oh. Look at that, guys. Yes, sir. That's right. Beautiful largemouth bass here. December largemouth bass. You can catch them all year long. They ice fish for them. So that alone should give you confidence that fish will eat all year long which they do, they have to survive. These fish do not hibernate. Nice, nice, nice largemouth bass. That was the goal. Hook's barely in there. Look at that. Barely in there, look at that. Wow. Kept that line tight. Finally caught him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful December bass, 2022, out here with my dry code USA gear, keeping warm while it's standing in the water. Amazing stuff. Going in for the release. On that weightless slack line, you know, I'm in a river with current, so I have to give it a little bit extra slack so it's not falling on that tight line so I can watch the line that's sitting on the surface and when you see that little twitch you know that fish has got it so you wham back on that hook baby yes oh i just missed one guys he was too quick let's see 
That's a bass. There he is. Oh yeah. Gotta watch your line. Very, very, very important when you're doing this, guys. This is a bigger one. Oh yeah, look at this. What a fighter. made the right call today boys look at this beautiful largemouth bass chicago river hook right there in the mouth weightless worm not sure if you could still see my breath or not but we're out here 26 degrees catching bass now after we switched over from crappie and variety of panfish that's awesome Get this hook out of this big guy. What a fatty. What a fatty. December 2022. And that is how we do it, boys. Remember guys, keep an eye on that line. Yes, you will catch a fish occasionally by them just grabbing it and running with your line and you can see your line shoot out. But for the most part, you'll see that tick. It's just a little, your line will jump. If you don't set that hook, most times you'll miss them. All right, let's keep it going. <laughs> we got one right here on this corner. That's great. What good fighters. They are such great fighters. Look at this, guys. Another fish. On the worm. Yeah. Another fish on the worm, guys. On the worm. It is essential. You have to fish a weightless worm on slack line. If you keep your line tight while it's going down, it will not have the same wobble would not have the same effect keep that slack line and just observe your line keep that head on a swivel just watch 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 pay attention and you will catch fish just like these remember you cast it out you have slack in your line leave it let it sit on the top of the surface let it slowly fall i'm in a river and i'm still using a weightless worm moderate moving river not a fast paced river we're not whitewater rafting out here, but it's a moderate moving river. There is current constantly going, and I'm over here weightless worm fishing, catching fish because I'm letting that slack line stay on top of the surface. I'm not reeling my line in tight. You have to let it slowly sink or it's not gonna do what it's designed to do. It needs to have the resistance going under the water and slowly wobbling down so it can create that little wobble action where it entices the fish to go. And that's how you catch him on that weightless worm. Gonna go take this hook out. He is hooked really good. We got him, I mean, just five foot over here on my left side, like literally just five feet from where I'm standing to inside the water. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm fishing on a point, a little bit of a drop. 26 degrees out here today guys 26 degrees and i'm staying completely warm with my dry code usa waterproof boots check them out so right now we're going to get this hook out of this absolutely stud of a bass Yes. 
All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Do not forget to hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. So anytime a video is posted, it's almost like a text message. You will be notified right away. I want to also want to send a shout out to Leon at Dry Code USA for sending out that awesome care package. Both of my boys got brand new waders. I got a, some of the best waterproof boots I've ever had in my life. They're designated fishing boots at this point. Anytime I'm at a slippery surface, Dry Code USA is right there for me. No slipping, no falling. It's important to adapt out there on the waterways, guys. And you never really know what you're going to see, what you're going to get when you get out there. But with Dry Code USA, you will be prepared. I have these awesome waterproof boots. Came out here not knowing what to expect. Went to a spot that didn't produce. Went to another spot where I had to stand in the water. But thanks to Dry Code USA, I had those waterproof boots where it was no obligation to me. Out here in 26 degree weather, we still made everything happen. Literally everything that we were trying to do today, we accomplished. And that's amazing. It's always a great feeling when you do that. So thank you, Dry Code USA. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate your support. We are right there. I mean, we are this close to finally being monetized again. It's been a long and bumpy road, but I produce these videos every Friday, every week of every month of every year. That's what geofishing brings to you, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Please do not litter out there. Use your brain and do not be insane. Please. Please do not litter out there, guys. Respect your environment, and your risks, and your environment will respect you by rewarding you with some awesome fish. You cannot catch slabs if you don't release. So please catch and release. Please don't litter. And we'll see you guys next week with another geofishing exclusive description right below drycodeusa.com. I have all the links that you need to follow. Go check them out. It's Christmas time, and you want to keep your loved ones warm? Dry Code USA. Peace, and happy fishing, guys. See you all on the water.